in the Marine Corps. And in the Marine Corps, uh, we tried to do more with less. And we didn't always have the best equipment, but the one thing the Marine Corps always did was invest in training its people. And as a result of that, it was a very, very good organization. And I think we, I'm going to try to bring that same attitude uh, to, to the House Appropriations Higher Education Committee, which is that we have to do more with less, um, but we should always focus on investing in people. And uh, we should never cut corners in that. I and mean, that means you know, spending money in higher education, uh, training the future of engineers, for training future healthcare workers, health professionals. Um, and so we're ready to meet the challenges of the next century. Um, another thing that's important to you, the gender pay gap. Yeah. And uh, there is, according to a report by World Economic Forum, there's no country in the world right now that pays women and men equally. Mm -hmm. um, we're getting better, but it's not there yet. You've pitched House Bill 44. Right. So I pre-filed House Bill 44. is the first bill I filed this year. Um, multiple studies have come out and showed that, that women receive about 71% of the pay that men do. And the interesting fact is that it starts out a year after college in the same job field with women making 7% less than their male counterparts. And the gap actually widens over time. And that's a real problem. So I filed a bill that would require the Department of Labor and Industrial Relations uh, to establish best practice guidelines that uh, the business community could adopt to try to address that. Things like increased transparency of salaries, uh, having a, uh, one member of human resources that's accountable for checking in companies to see uh, what the gap is, and just by having these uh, these devices, these tools available, I think the business community can address a large portion of that wage gap. So you don't think it's going to solve the problem necessarily, but you think it's a step in the right direction? It's definitely a step in the right direction. I think the problem is, is it's a very large one. Um, there's a lot of different components to it, uh, and so I don't know if we can solve it with one bill. But I think if we can start chipping away at it and making substantial improvements, and the important thing, the thing that people don't realize is that, I mean, this is a family issue, right? So um, women that make less, uh, if, if their children have access to, to less resources, um, their family has access to less resources, it, it slows the economy, um, and it's simply unfair. Uh, so it's something that is getting a lot of support because I think a lot of people can relate to it. And I think that people understand that it's not about creating more mandates, um, but simply giving employers more tools that they can use. Because I, I don't think anybody starts out saying, I want to pay uh, genders differently. Um, I think there's a, a set of complicated uh, societal factors that result in that happening. And if we can address those in, in a way that doesn't add additional regulations but gives additional tools, I think that's a win for everybody. And it's very deep rooted too. It goes mm -hmm. back a long time in history. Now, you, um, is, this, is this something modeled after another state or is this all your uh, original? They've been doing idea? some pretty good work in New Mexico. Um, this one is actually one that uh, me and, and my team and myself worked on uh, to come up with. And I think it's a, it's a Missouri solution. Um, and I think it sort of addresses, uh, it's, it's custom to our, our community custom to our state government um, and I think it's one that, that hopefully a lot of people get on board with and, and will work. I know you still have some time left but you're term limited. Yes. What's next? Yes. Uh, uh, right now it's just focusing on my time in the house. So I'm the senior representative um, from Boone County. I've been in the Missouri House longer than anybody else in the Boone County delegation. Uh, with Chris leaving last year, Chris Kelly, um, I'm stepping up into that role. And so for me, uh, I think the next two years are going to be important in terms of really leading the delegation, uh, fighting for the university, fighting for K-12 education, fighting for Medicaid expansion, um, and addressing the issue of, of gender pay inequity. And uh, that's, I'm going to put everything I have into that for a while. Representative, thank you very much. Absolutely. Good luck to you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Coming up, we'll take a look at the rain chance for Sunday. I'll show you who has the best chance of a little bit of rain. Otherwise, it looks like a fairly dry weather pattern. I'll show you those temperatures, too, coming up next. When police looked inside that trunk, they found a noose, a pipe bomb. No one covers mid-Missouri news, weather, and sports like we do. Mizzou football is just a few minutes away from kickoff against Texas A&M. ABC 17 News.